Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday, July 16th at 5.04 p.m. I just got out of the shower. We spent the day at the beach. It is the second day of my vacation. I'm having a wonderful time and honestly, I don't wanna go back to real life. Yesterday we got here around probably 11-ish. We usually come in, turn the AC on, get everything situated, like all of our stuff unloaded. Then we go to the big store for groceries and then we go to the liquor store for alcohol, obviously. And then we come back, get everything ready. We started cooking, had some drinks, played some games. Some of our friends came out and then we went to bed around midnight-ish. Woke up around 7.30 this morning, typical day. Had a quick breakfast, sat around for a little bit trying to decide what we were gonna do. And then we finally went down to the beach. We set up some canopies, as y'all have seen in all of the footage I've put in before this. My husband caught a shark with a piece of crab. And I started reading Beach Read by Emily Henry. And I'm about halfway through it. This little tab is the halfway mark and that's where I'm at right now. So probably like 46, 47% of the way through. And I'm really liking it. It's super cute. I love the banter. The only problem I'm having is that I don't usually read just normal romances. So I'm having trouble figuring out how to do my labeling because for my fantasy, it's always the same. And then when I read romance on my Kindle, I kind of just highlight here and there, but I have a paper white, so they're all the same color. And it's like, it doesn't matter. They're just highlighted. So we're figuring it out, but I'm really enjoying it. So I figured I would just kind of talk to y'all about my opinions of the book this far. Like I said, twice already, I'm enjoying it. The premise of the book, if you've not read it before or heard of it, is about this girl named January and she's an author and a bunch of really crappy things have been going on in her life over the past year and a half. So she goes to this cabin. She inherited this cabin from her father who she's starting to find out like secrets about. And while she's there, she meets her basically like a rival author who lives next door. And so they kind of decide, since they're both in a like, writer's block that they're going to write in each other's genre and the first person to publish and sell their book gets like bragging rights and then the other person has to write a blurb for the book and you know healthy competition so that's pretty much the premise of the story and really all that i can share and kind of all that i know like up until this point that's really all that's happened so i'm Excited to see where it goes. I'm not hating it. I am reading it very slowly for some reason, and I don't know if that's because it's just a romance and it doesn't have any fantasy aspects to it. I have no idea. My husband started Kingdom of the Fallen today because I have been telling him since... That was violent. I've been telling him since I finished it that he needs to read it and I purposely brought it to the beach so that he could read it because it wraps up nicely and it's obviously not going to be a standalone but the ending of the story wasn't a cliffhanger or anything so it's not like he'll be dying for the next book. I mean he might anyways but I don't think that the next book is going to be about the same characters that were in uh, Throne of the Fallen. But we'll just have to see, I guess. I just wanted to finally check in with y'all since I haven't had a chance to talk to y'all since I got here. It's been probably a lot of sped up footage and music because yesterday we were just trying to get everything situated and sorted out. And this morning I, for whatever reason, didn't have a chance to update y'all. So I'm getting ready to relax for the evening. And finishing that book tonight, I think would be a little overzealous. I doubt that that's gonna happen, but my plan is to continue reading it and see how far we can get today. Uh, after that, I'm gonna read The Things We Do in the Dark, and then I also have Murder Road to read here. So, let's see how many books we can get through this week. I haven't really been on TikTok at all. I've chosen to read instead, so you should be very proud of me. I will see y'all later. Anywho, 
Hello, it is now, uh, I can't get over that. It is now Wednesday morning. We just had breakfast. We went out for a little fishing trip this morning and now we're chilling. I finished Beach Read. I give it four stars just because it was cute and I liked it, but I'm not used to reading just romance. So it was kind of hard to like stay interested in it the whole time just because there was no like war or politics or dragons. So I did like it. It's just a little different than I normally read. So five stars to that. Now we are starting the things we do in the dark. And I also brought Murder Road with me. So the, I'm assuming the thrillers are probably going to go a little faster than Beach Read did. But I mean, I've only had like 30 pages left this morning. I read most of it yesterday. So I actually thought I had 58 pages left this morning. But I didn't realize there was a preview for another book at the end of that book. So I surprised myself. I'm not really sure what the plan is for the rest of the day. I'm probably just going to chill and read my book. Like I said, we did go fishing for a little bit this morning and then came in. The mosquitoes are so bad. It makes me not even want to go anywhere but up here on the porch or inside. I look like Pleakley from Lilo and Stitch. It's so bad. Anyways, that's all for now. I'll see y'all later. suspicious of the little assistant in this book. I don't trust her. We'll just have to see. Something's fishy. So it's Sunday evening now and I'm really sorry. I haven't updated y'all since I think Thursday morning. I got caught up in the vacation of it all. We also had a lot more guests than we did at the beginning of the week. So it was harder to kind of like sneak away and be able to give y'all an update for things. So I'm going to go over with y'all all of the reading that I did while on vacation. I know it was more of just a vacation vlog, but I made it a point to try to read like as much as possible while I was on this trip since I have less time to read when I'm not on vacation. So I started with Beach Read by Emily Henry. This was my first of her books and really the first of it, like this type of book. I really only read like romantic -y. I've never read just like a romance. So it was definitely different. I don't want to say it was boring because it wasn't. It was just there wasn't all of the other aspects of like war and politics and magic and all of those things obviously so it was just a little slower of a read for me than normal. I did give it four stars though. I did like the story. The ending went really well. I enjoyed the characters. It was just not something I'm used to so I didn't really feel comfortable giving it five stars if I was kind of indifferent about it. I did stop tabbing towards the end because I was having a difficult time like having things to tab for like generally in fantasy books I know what I'm tabbing like I go into it with the same kind of thing and I tried that with this and there just wasn't as much going on in here for me to tab so I just kind of gave up on it then I read things we do in the dark and this one I have a little bit of a different opinion on I rarely have a thriller that I don't just immediately love I'm surprised by the plot and this one just didn't do it for me for some reason. I ended up giving it three stars, which I didn't expect to do because I've heard lots of good things about it. But honestly, when it went from part one about one character to part two and the perspective completely changed. And while they did cross over at the end, it just kind of like put me off a little bit. So while I was distracted on vacation while reading, this took me much longer than I anticipated to read and just wasn't my favorite. The ending was a little bit predictable and while everything wrapped up nicely, I just 
didn't vibe with it, I guess. I also brought Murder Road with me to read, but decided that I wanted something a little smutty, a little shorter than the other two books that I had read. So I started Broken Bonds and got about 40% of the way through this before I just got distracted at the end of our vacation and wasn't able to read anymore, but I'm really liking it so far and I'm really hoping that I can finish it up this week because it's super quick and easy to read. I like the premise of it and I'm really excited to see where it goes. I just wasn't able to finish it before the end of this vlog, unfortunately. So keep an eye out for that in the next reading vlog. So in total throughout my vacation, I read 814 pages, which is really great. It's the most reading I've done within like a week time frame in a very long time. So I'm very happy with my results and I had a wonderful vacation, truly. Everything went without a hitch. I'm just sad I have to go back to work tomorrow and then work 12 days in a row, but we're gonna worry about that tomorrow. Anyways, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Sorry it wasn't super talkative. I tried my best, but I was just caught up in the vacation. So next week, hopefully I'll have something a little more interactive for y'all, but that's all I have for this week's video. If y'all have any recommendations for books or video ideas or anything else, leave them down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see y'all next week. Bye guys.